Hello everyone. So, I am in my new apartment. Oh, my plant. So today I'm going to be filming a collective summer spring haul in Boston. It's kind of like not really summer weather yet. It's still in like 60s, 70s. It's been in the 50s and 40s, honestly. So I have been like stocking up on some summery things, random whatever. I moved on Saturday, which was like five days ago. I moved on May 25th and I love my room here. But yeah, my roommate's moving in next weekend, and once she moves in, we are gonna film a full apartment tour, so expect to see that coming up very soon, once everything is cute. But let's just get into the haul. I'm gonna start with dresses, because I have a bunch of dresses here, kind of from a few different places. So, this dress is from Nasty Gal, and it's kind of like a very creamish yellow color with little pink flowers on it, if you can see the detail. It has little ties, which I love. I love that. Another from Nasty Gal. Oh boy. I have not worn this one yet. It is this plaid gray one, and it has like little whatever detail on the chest, and then looks like that. This one I have not worn either, and I don't have an occasion because this one's kind of like a formal fancier dress but this is from gray bandit i have it in maroon and i really liked the light blue for spring or summer if i'm going to something nicer this is forever 21 i actually got this in like april for my when i went out for my birthday and it's just like a silky leopard looser fitting dress with like a cowl neck i'll insert a picture of me wearing it and maddie sidlick actually got this too recently i love her videos but I wore it with just Air Force Ones and we went to like a bar and it looked be cute with sneakers, which I really am about. You literally can't tell what it looks like when I hold it up. So I'll just insert a picture. You literally just can't tell. So I'll just insert a picture of me wearing this the other day when I went to a rooftop on Memorial Day. But this is Forever 21 and it's really comfortable and very cute. I have nothing this shape, so I'm into it. I have a couple other random things from Forever 21. These shorts I wore the other weekend in DC because it was actually shorts weather there. And I think they shrank when I washed them. Um, if I don't show me trying them on, it's because they shrank and I'll have to give them away to a small friend. This is my first attempt at the neon trend. It's a bodysuit and is neon yellow with a square neckline. I haven't worn this yet because it's just very summery. I have one shirt here from Aritzia. It's the brand Fabaton and it is just this little crop top. It's very little and it goes up in the middle. So this is just what it looks like. I really like the detail on this and it fits very nicely. I don't need a bra with it because it's really thick and not see-through. My friend gave me an Aritzia gift card for my birthday. So I bought this gift card. So thank you so much, Olivia. We love that. I got a bathing suit from Sarah Burgett's new bathing suit company, Ethereal Angel Energy. It comes in this cute little pouch. She wrote a handwritten card, which is so cute, but these are the bottoms. They're pretty cheeky, uh, but they're just teal snake print. And the top is also like pretty small, like not small, but like doesn't cover a whole lot, you know? But yeah, that's the bathing suit. Be cute for tanning. And then at Lululemon, I got a few things. I got on sale their on the fly pant, which is kind of like, it's a work pant. And it looks like a slack style, like fancy work pant, but they literally feel like joggers and they have like a comfy waistband. I have them in black and I've talked about them before, but they retail for 118 which is crazy, but I got them in DC when I was there on sale for $59, which is way better. And then also at Lululemon, I've been wearing these like literally every day in my apartment, but they are the Align shorts. So basically they feel exactly like the Aligns, they're exact material and fit, but they're just little, 
little shorts. And I wouldn't say they're biker shorts exactly because they're much, they're more like spandex. These ones are the four inch ones, but I was so obsessed with them. I ordered them in camo and I have the legging version of this too. And they came today and I love them. Haven't worn them yet. Obviously the tag's still on. And then since I really wanted to go for like the biker short trend to try it out, um, I'm wearing them right now. But I got the six inch version. I'll show them in the try on, but they're exactly the same, just a little more long. So they work for like wearing with a big t shirt to get that biker short vibe. I got a pair of jeans at Madewell. My first Madewell jeans, and I am obsessed with these. Like, I wear them so much. I sized down one size in them because they recommended to. And they are the slim boy jean. They just have like slight tiny rips in the knee and then are cut off on the bottom. And they definitely do like stretch and loosen as you wear them. So they are like not tight, not restrictive, very comfortable, like the stretchiest, softest denim, like so much give. You're not suffocating when you wear them. They have a policy, kind of like a denim give back program where you can bring in an old pair of denim from literally anywhere, anytime, and they'll give you $20 credit off your new pair from them. And they recycle them and use them for insulation in their stores and donate it to housing projects, I think. A random thing I got that I've like been obsessed with is this straw bag from Nasty Gown. And it is perfect. Like I would had been looking for one and it has, sorry, there's things in here. There's Tic Tacs and tissues, but it has a zipper, which is amazing. And it fits really nicely cross body, like so. And I just, I love it. With dresses, with any summery outfit, it's so cute. I finally took the plunge and tried Fabletics. Um, VIP two for 24 deal thing. And um, I'm like, not impressed. Well, I'm not, I'm disappointed. Um, so I ordered two pairs of the high-waisted 7 8 power hold leggings, which are the ones everybody raves about. And the pink, I got them in like rose bloom and in black and I got matching tops to go with them, but basically they're just like high-waisted leggings with, you know, their leggings and they're thicker and they are nice material for working out. But I can tell you, I wore this set because this is the matching top. It has, it's the sports bra with a high neck and it's longer and the back has some detail. I'll show you in the try on, but I wore this to Pilates and the seam ripped on the leggings. And then I looked at the seam and it was very poorly made. And literally they ripped the first time I wore them, but I called and they sent me a new pair and I returned them. So, you know, let's hope for the next time they don't rip on me. Then I got the black. The top I got to go with the black ones is another like high neck sports bra top but the back is really cool if you can see that uh not really well yeah it has like mesh all the way down the back kind of so it's very breathable and it's longer which i like as a top to go with leggings i really got these to wear to either like soul cycle hot yoga at core power or pilates i wouldn't wear these to the gym just because it's not really my workout vibe but for classes where you're like you know it's more my what I wear to those. The last thing I have is a bunch of tops from Zara. So I have them all on the hairs because I just grabbed them out of my closet. But the first one is this black one and it has a little tie detail right here. It's a v-neck, you know, longer and it's like a linen-y material. The reason I got all these shirts is because I realized now that I'm an adult, I'm 24 and I have a real job. I cannot just wear t-shirts like Brandy Melville logo shirts and random t-shirts all the time. I need like nicer tops and I have none. Like summery tops that I can wear to work and I can wear out to dinner with family and friends and I can dress up in them and go on dates in them. And like, I so Zara came through with these. 
The next one is white and it's a similar shape kind of, a little more cropped in the front and it has this little like metal ring with a tie as well and it's like a textured material. I've worn both of these a bunch already and I love them. This one I haven't worn yet and it's kind of outside my comfort zone because it's a color. I don't wear a lot of color but it's like a sweater t-shirty tunic thing. It's like a long t-shirt sweater. I don't know how to explain it but it was only $17.99 which for Zara you'd expect it to be a lot more because it's really like thick and nice quality. This one I would not wear to work. It's just like a cute little top. I wore this on Easter actually and it's just like very bright yellow with pink flowers and it has not really peplum but like almost it's just very flattering the way they cut it in the front and the back has like similar style but it fits me so nice i'll answer the picture from easter because i got compliments on it and i never wear things like this so i was happy this top i have been wearing a ton out to dinner and stuff i probably wouldn't wear this to work either because it's kind of low cut but this is very outside my comfort zone. I don't wear things like this that are like flowy and girly and like chic, shabby chic, whatever. But yeah, it just has these really nice pearlized buttons down the front and it has a very flattering cut and the sleeves kind of like blossom, that's not the word, bell out. And it's just very cute and girly and I don't have a lot of girly shirts like this and I've worn it a few times. The first time I wore it, my mom said from behind when I was sitting at the table she didn't think it was me because she didn't think I'd ever wear this, but I wear it and I love it and I feel very cute and girly in it, so. The last thing is these shoes and they are just Air Force Ones that have this really cute smiley face and black bottom. On the tongue they say have a Nike day, so it was from this like limited collection I think that was have a Nike day and they just have a cute smiley face on them and yeah my other Nike my other Air Forces are really old they have holes going in the back of the heel like on the inside and they're just falling apart so I had to get a clean pair for summer because I wear these to death and I love them I'm gonna put them down now so that is everything for my haul. This is very collective, like literally since probably March, April, May, I've been like buying stuff kind of just slowly over time as the weather's slowly, slowly getting warmer. Like it's sunny today, but it's still 60, a high of 63. So hopefully Boston will hurry up. It'll be summer soon and I can buy like dresses and shorts and it'll be warm. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you are new here, subscribe to stick around. Follow me on Instagram. I will be posting an apartment tour soon. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.